Right, this is how to recharge an expansion vessel on most combi boilers. Firstly, locate the drain off on the combi boiler. I'm going to be attaching this hose at some point in this video. And this hose is going to run into a bucket, obviously. Now, I don't touch the isolation valves on boxes purely because I find them absolutely garbage. I just leave these open. On Worcesters, I would attempt on shutting on the Green Star models anyway, but not on boxes. All right, we're going to drain this system down until the pressure gauge reads zero. Whilst we're waiting for this, You undo the little cap off the Schrader valve on the expansion vessel. And get my inflator ready. I grease up the end of the inflator as sometimes the Schrader valves will pass after you've touched them. But this just forces a bit of silicon lubricant and helps it reseat itself when you're done. Pressure gauge is on zero now. We've attached the inflator. I've reset it, it seems it was showing 0.10. Right, there's 0 0.5 of a bar in this vessel and it needs to be topped up to one bar. The drain off is still open at this point because you need to push out the water and replace it with uh, filling up the vessel. Now that's set at one bar. Hose is still in the bucket. <laughs> Fire up, and this will automatically shut off this Milwaukee inflator. It's one of the best buys I've ever bought for certain boilers. The expansion vessel should be charged, recharged every service, or at least checked every service. And there we go, one bar. Well, it's settled at 1.2. You've got to leave this now for a few minutes just to make sure that the uh, pressure is holding. A few minutes later, pressure is still the same. Removing the cap, not the cap, your hose. Now I'm gonna take about five minutes trying to get my leak detector out of my bag. destined to fall over this. Get a bit of leak detector, put it on your shredder valve to make sure it isn't passing. Obviously it would bubble up if it was passing. Shut your drain off off. Remove your hose. Taking care not to spill any water on any of the electronics. Locate the filling loop. Open both these valves up and recharge the water pressure in the boiler between 1 and 1 1.5 bar. Now this water drain the system because you've only had the one drain point open. Hope this video has helped. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Give me that urge to carry on posting. Thank you.